Hi everyone, I'm Kat. I'm a coach and the co-owner of Session in Brooklyn. This is Good Moves with Well and Good. I'm gonna take you through a 10 minute full body strength workout. It's completely body weight, so you don't need any equipment. All you need is yourself, a mat, and a little bit of space. Let's get started with our warm up. So we're just gonna start with some jumping jacks, light on the feet, staying on the balls of the feet with every hop. If you're not hopping today, you can go ahead and just take it to a step touch, keeping the arms active, just to get the heart rate up, get the full body moving, get the blood flowing. All right, shake it out, give yourself some space. We'll take it to quad pulls, just alternating. Take a three step little jog in between to switch. If you wanna feel that stretch, go from the hip flexor just to about the top of the knee and hold for about a second on each one. Good, let's take one more on each side. And then we'll switch to our hamstrings. We're gonna take hamstring reaches. So one heel steps in front, push your hips back and then reach your fingertips forward. Again, you can take that little three step jog in between to switch. We have some hinging today, so wanna to make sure we're lighting up the hamstrings, getting them active. You can just let your toes face up with every reach. Let's get one more in. And we'll take it into quad pulls next. Just grab the top of your foot, maybe your ankle, and then take a little three-step jog to switch, just to keep yourself moving between each rep. You'll feel that stretch just go from the hip flexor to about the top of the knee. We'll take one more on each side. You can use your arm out if you need some help with balance. All right, and then we'll take it to hamstring reaches. Plant one heel into the floor, hips go back, and then reach your fingertips forward. And we'll take that little jog in between to switch. You let the toes face up to feel that stretch go through your calves, and really finding length in the hamstrings as you push your hips back and fingers forward. We'll take one more on each. All right, and then we'll set up for a walkout. So make sure you have space in front of you, both feet plant, push the hips back, and then your hands meet the floor. We'll walk it out one hand at a time into a high plank. And then from here, we'll step one foot forward into a low runner's lunge for world's greatest stretch. One hand plants, open up, and then reset the hand. We'll step back, and then we'll switch sides on this one. So just opening in the chest, some mobility for your spine. Once you've done one on each, we'll walk it back, reset, and then take that hinge again. Uh, just making sure shoulders are right over your wrists every time you hit that plank. Switch to the other side. Awesome, then we'll walk it back. And then we'll just finish with a cute few body weight squats. Feet are shoulder width apart. Just go ahead and sink down into it. Knees just trap over your middle toes. Getting the glutes warmed up here. And the full body moving. Chest stays proud at the top of every squat. We're here for three, two, and one. All right, shake it out. So here is what we have for you today. We've got two sets of work with three exercises in each one. Our work time is gonna be 30 seconds of work, 10 seconds to rest, and you're just going through everything two times. Let's get started with our first set. So we have a negative push-up to start. Fun push-up variation to really allow you to build strength in this movement. So starting your tall plank, shoulders over your wrists, you'll lower down with control, chest and hips lower together. Once you get to the bottom, you'll drop the knees to aid with some help to push up away from the floor. Tuck the toes, reset, and we're back in. So think inhale, lower, elbows come out to a 45 degree angle, drop the knees, strong push away. Let's get one more rep in here, nice and slow. Think about a three second count as you lower, and then drop the knees, big breath out, squeeze the corners of the chest. All right, our next movement, more lower body focus, we have a three stop split squat. So we're just gonna stay on one side for this one. Start in a half kneeling position, one knee planted, one foot planted, your hands are at your chest. And from here, push through the heel of the front foot to bring ourselves up to stand. We're gonna lower into three spots. So think a third of the way down, we pause, two thirds of the way down, we pause, all the way down, pause and hold, and then push through your heel, bring yourself up to stand. So a little bit of a stability challenge. Think pause, hold, pause, hold, pause, hold, and then push through your heel, squeeze the glutes, use your quads. Let's get one more in here. Pause, 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 big breath out. Awesome, shake it out. 
Then we'll finish the, the third exercise with a straight leg sit up. So we're on the ground, legs are straightened out, arms are in front of you. We'll roll down with the tempo. So three seconds to lower down one vertebrae at a time. Once your head and shoulders meet the ground, we use our exhale, keep the arms in line with the chest. We just sit up nice and tall. You know, have a soft bend in the knees if that's more supportive for you. So nice and slow, rolling down, really turning the core on with control. Then exhale, think chest to ribs every time we bring ourselves up. Nice and slow, use your exhale. We're here for three, two, one. All right, we're gonna run it back to the top just one more time through. We'll start in that high plank position. You always have the option to take this push up with the knees to the floor for a little bit more support. And here we go. So lowering down, again, chest and hips in line together, lots of control. Drop the knees, exhale, push, brace the core, squeeze the chest. Reset for three, two, one. Drop the knees with control first, and then we press away. Awesome, we got about 10 more seconds here. And use your breath, inhale lower. <sighs> Big breath out to push. We're here for three, two, and one. We get into our split squat. We'll just go ahead and switch sides now and then start in that half kneeling position so you have two 90 degree angles with both knees. Back toe is tucked and then meet me standing. We'll lower, third of the way down, pause. Lower down two thirds and then all the way down, drive through the heel, bring ourselves up. Make sure your chest stays proud. I think 80% of your body weight stays in that front leg. Really building that muscular tension in the lower body. That's how we build strength in our split squat. Let's get one more rep in here. Big breath out, three, two, one. All right, shake it out. Last time at our sit up. And like I said earlier, you can have a bend in the knees if that's more comfortable for you. Focus on your posture with this one. Arms are out in front of you. We'll lower down for three, two, one. Keep the arms in line with the chest so we're not using momentum. <sighs> Big breath out to sit up tall. Lowering for three, two, one. <sighs> Good. About halfway there in this one. Lowering down slowly. Try not to crunch in the neck and then lead with the chest as you sit. Let's get one more rep in for three, two, one. Big breath out. <sighs> All right, awesome, y'all. That is our first set. Take a moment, shake it out, and we'll get into our next set. So same format. You got three exercises, 30 on, 10 off, going two times through. All right, let's get started. So our first one is a good morning. Feet are shoulder width apart. Hands go on the back of your head and then roll your shoulders down your back. Then from here, we're pushing our hips back, soft bend in the knees. Once you feel a stretch in your hamstrings, that's your end range of motion. Push through the heels, extend the hips at the top. Think inhale, hinge, trying not to let the shoulders round forward. Exhale, squeeze the glutes as you stand tall. Nice, we'll take it here. Try not to round in the lower back every time you push the hips back. So your core, your glutes need to stay really active every time we hinge and stand. Here for three, two, and one. All right, we'll take it to a single leg balance with a Y raise, integrating some stability and some upper body strength. One foot is gonna stay planted, we'll stay on this side the whole time. Opposite knee drives to 90, and then we take Y raises. So arms start by your side. We'll pull up into a Y shape, like you're doing the YMCA. Biceps by the ear at the top, and then control as you lower. Think chest stays proud, you'll feel the lats work to pull the arms into that Y, and then control as you lower. Option here, if that balance is a lot for you, just dock the back toe, that'll support you, but you're still focusing on that one leg. We're here for three two, one. All right. And last, we have a side plank with a pull. See this one as a body weight row. So our side plank, will take it from the forearm. Your elbow is under your shoulder, feet and hips stack on top of each other. And then your top arm is gonna reach and tap the floor in front of you. So we extend from the arm, we pull back, drive your elbow past your torso, think hand to hip, and then reach forward. Think inhale, reach, exhale, we pull back. You feel the shoulder blades squeeze together with every pull. And your option here, you can always drop your bottom knee to the floor to support you. So try not to, not to let the hips lower with every pull. Here for three, two, one. All right, so making your way back to the top, single-sided movements, we're just gonna switch sides. 
Let's get into our good morning. Feet are shoulder width apart. Hands go on the back of our head. Here we go. Inhale, hinge. Exhale, stand. Something to note every time we hinge, try not to let your chest drop lower than your hips. You really found your end range of motion once you feel that light stretch in the hamstrings with that soft bend in the knees. Good, we got 10 more seconds. Let's try to get two more reps in here. Last one. All right, shake it out. We'll take it to that other leg now for our balance. Remember that option I gave you? You can always just tap the toe to support you. Here we go, three, two, one. Make sure your knee is flexed, your hip is flexed. Nice strong hold. Think about squeezing the inner thigh of your standing leg to help you with that balance. Remember, core is active here to support you. A lot of things happening right now. Try to go that full range of motion to bring your arms right by your ear, just like your thumbs face behind you. We got 10 more seconds, you got it. We're here for three, two, and one. All right, check it out. We got one more. We're switching sides on our slide plank with a pull. So remember, you wanna stack your elbow, your forearm under your shoulder, feet and hips stack on top of each other. Good. And then top arm is gonna reach forward, fingertips just tap the floor, and then drive the elbow back past your torso. Think hand to hip. So you're really feeling this movement come from the lats, those muscles in between your shoulder blades as well. <sighs> Keeping your hips forward and up to the ceiling, almost there, less than 10 seconds. <sighs> Here for three, two, and one. Awesome, awesome job, y'all. If you were looking for a little bit more, you can always run that back from the top and do it another time through. But if you're ready to cool it down with me, let's cool it down. We'll take it to a quad stretch and a hamstring stretch. So one knee planted, one foot planted in a half kneeling position. We'll lunge ourselves forward. First feeling that stretch go from the, from the quad through your hip flexors. All right, and then we'll push the hips back into a hamstring stretch. Keep the knee planted where it's at and just let the toes face up. Hands on either side of you to support you. Let's find length going through the calf, through the hamstring. And use your exhale to sink deeper into it. All right, same idea, other side. Opposite knee plants, opposite foot plants. We'll take that quad and hip flexor stretch first. So lunging forward, just let the knee track past the middle toe. And then we'll push the hips back. Let the toe face up again, hands on either side of you. Awesome, for three, two, and one. We'll step the feet in and just meet me standing. We'll end with a figure four stretch. So ankle over the top of the opposite knee. We'll sink down like we're sitting down on a chair. This will get into your glutes, then a little bit more into your hips. Just reach the arms forward to help you with some balance. Good, shake it out. We'll do the other side. Hips down and back, just like you're sitting down for three, two, one. We'll end it with a breath together, just getting the lats. Inhale, bring the arms up overhead. Reach it out the top, micro back bend here, and then bring it down to you. Awesome, awesome work, y'all. Again, this was a 10 minute full body strength workout. Everything that we did was body weight, so I hope you're able to take some of those movements and integrate it into your day-to-day -day training. I'm Kat, this is Good Moves with Well and Good. If you want more videos like this, subscribe below.